Here we're at the start of the uh, 50 miler. It's kind of a wet and uh, blustery morning. Temps are actually not that cold though. A lot of fired up people out here. marathon runner, best-selling author and entrepreneur. He was named one of the top 100 most influential people in the world by Time magazine. First Lady Michelle Obama invited you to the White House, and you have run marathons in all seven continents twice. Please welcome Dean Carnation. I'm not worthy, but thank you for the, oh, oh, you are the very gracious much introduction. Worthy. Yeah. 50 marathons, 50 states in 50 days. You also ran three consecutive days to break a record. Why? What motivates you to run as much as you do? Uh, you know, the, a sponsor I work with, the North Face, has this motto, never stop exploring. So it's, it's the exploration. It's, uh, it's you versus you. It's a confrontation with self, seeing how far I can go, testing, pushing the limits of human endurance. That's just what I love. You've got endurance like nobody else. So <laughs> this weekend, you're actually working in Blue Mountain. Tell us a little bit about what's happening as part of the North Face Challenge, and can people still sign up? Yeah, it's not too late to sign up. The North Face Challenge um, offers something for everyone, from a 5K to a 50-mile race and everything in between. So we say uh, test your limits. If you run a 5K, sign up for the 10K. It's a beautiful trail through the Blue Mountains. It not get much better. Yeah. What about people who don't run and say, I'm not a runner, I can't do it after a couple of steps, I give up? What is the secret? I know you're big on making sure you're wearing the proper clothing and having the proper shoes because the, the mechanics make a big difference in how your body can go or flow or not. I tell people um, don't look at the distance, look at the time. Just try to run nonstop for five minutes. A lot of people, they take off so quickly that they run out of energy very, very uh, soon. Okay. So I say, try to run continuously for five minutes. You don't have to go fast, you just have to go. And you prefer soft ground over, let's say, paved ground? I prefer what they call natural surfaces. Like this weekend, the North Face event will be on, you know, graded fire roads and trails. Uh, much more um, comforting for the legs versus pavement. Because it's not such a shock to the joints. Not such a shock. And there's, and there's mountains. So you're mixing up your foot strike. You're, uh, you're not always hitting with that repetitive, you know, micro trauma of like a road marathon. What has been the craziest thing you've had to deal with in all of your travels around the world, either element wise or was it something to do with an animal? I'm sure you've encountered a bunch of different things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've encountered a lot of things, including crazy drivers in the middle of the night, and that's probably the, the scariest. But I've, uh, when, run, when I ran across America one time, I, um, I ran into a, a snake that was hanging from a tree. Oh I gosh. thought it was a branch, and I looked back, and I'm like, well, that was a snake. <laughs> it, you know, it wasn't a hallucination, because we were talking during the break about your three consecutive day run, and you said there was a point where you were actually falling asleep, but you kept running. Isn't that bizarre? Yeah, no, I, I found myself in the middle of the road, and I thought, why am I running out here? And then I meandered back over to the shoulder, and it happened again. I realized I was sleep running. I was falling asleep, and I was continuing to run, just willing my body to keep going. Unbelievable willpower. I was telling you I used to love running until I had a knee injury, and you have actually developed, thanks to a Canadian company, yeah. a really cool way to make sure your foot is as comfortable as possible within the shoe. First yeah. of all, with the shoes, what, what type of shoe do you recommend we run with if we're starting out? Well, so this is a North Face shoe, and it's made for the trails. You can see the tread. It's got this tread on there that uh, will grip the trails. Mm -hmm. So it's specifically designed for running not on the pavement, but for running on soft surfaces, trail surfaces. Ankle support. Ankle support, yep, and a lot of cushioning as well. Okay. Uh, impact resistance. And then this is the, uh, the footbed you refer That's to. That's you, ripped, <laughs> the little insole. So yeah, what you do is you put it in the oven, you said? You put it in the oven for two minutes at 200 degrees Fahrenheit. You okay. bake it, and then you put it in your shoe, and you stand on it, and it heat molds to your foot. So and then it's, it's your natural arch, so it's not competing against the shoe. Yes. And it's way more affordable it's than... It's very affordable. It's a Canadian company, so I love it. It's uh, your soul. Awesome. And um, it's a great product. It's a, it's a, it's a low-cost alternative to custom orthotics, and like you're you said. A good soul. Did you run into the building today, or did you, are you going to take your car back I, to are you gonna I run came into in from Hollywood? San Francisco. I didn't have enough time. Yeah. yeah. Excuses, <laughs> Dean. Thank I'm you so wimp. much yeah. for more information. <laughs> at Dean Carnassus at the North Face. Check it out. It's happening this weekend. Breakfasttelevision.ca for more information. You know what? You have been called the most fit man in the world, and I can see why. You are really incredible. I've put on some weight since then. I've, oh, please. <laughs> do, you, do you allow yourself to eat like the occasional? treat what's your indulgence uh, chocolate covered espresso beans that's kind of my one week this organic that's yeah, yeah. It? I'm pretty we good yeah fix this okay <laughs> in Collingwood they have something called beaver tails you have